In the previous video, we learned how to play with holographic designs and make a custom card with it. In this video, we're going to take that idea and we're going to add in a white silhouette effect. With this effect, we will be able to pinpoint areas on the card that we want hollow and non-holographic. Let's start creating the white silhouette, or in this case, a black silhouette. Let's get rid of the background. And I see some areas where I do need to erase some parts. So let me do that quick. There are two ways that you can do this. Being that we have a Mewtwo layer and a card template layer, we can just black those out easily. So let's click on the Mewtwo layer here. We'll go to image. We'll go to adjustments and we'll go to where is it levels and we'll just bring this arrow all the way down to black and then we can do the same with the card template this is one way of doing it there are times that you won't be able to do this and i'll show you another way that you can do it let's go grab our drawing board there's going to be times when you're creating a custom card and you're not going to have individual layers of each part. And to do it manually, I find it easier to have a drawing board. With Photoshop open and having our custom card loaded here, let's go over there in this corner over here. Let's make a new layer. With this new layer, we're going to use it to create the white silhouette. So let's change our color over here to black. Let's make sure that we have our brush tool and let's zoom in here. And then we just start tracing everything that we don't want holographic. I'm sure that you get the point. Um, so I'm gonna do a time skip here just to show that I have the silhouette. Okay, here is the silhouette that we're gonna to use to make our custom card. So the next step to do here is just simply just save it. Let's go to file, save it as a copy. We're gonna change it to a JPEG, copy this name, but we're gonna call it an S for silhouette or shadow or whatever you want to call it. Now let's open up Word. Now let's print out another copy of our color custom card here. So let's file, print, check our settings, make sure it's still connected to our inkjet printer and check our properties. See it's the glossy inkjet paper, you see that with the best quality, that's fine. Now let's print. Alright, so the next step here is actually, let's get rid of this color, custom card here. We're going to do the same thing that we did with our color. So we're going to left click it, right click, size and position. Lock aspect ratios, let's change this to standard sizing, 8.8 .8 centimeters by 6.3 centimeters. The silhouette is now set up to be standard sizing. Let's click on file and print. But in this step, we have to change our printer. Being that we're creating the white silhouette, we need to change it to our laser jet printer. So let's go to our Canon printer here. Let's check our properties. We want a black and white, and we want a label. 
press OK, and we'll proceed with printing. Here is our laser printer. To print a white silhouette, we have to do some modifications to this printer. So let's open up the cartridge for the toners. Typically, you will see yellow, pink, cyan, and black. But as you can see here, we have a ghost white toner. We replace our black toner with white toner. That is the reason why when we make a silhouette on Photoshop, our drawings are black. Because this printer is going to see that it's black. It's going to use the black toner, but it's actually white. With our color and silhouette now printed, I went ahead and I already cut them to size. Here's the color, here's the white silhouette, and here's our holographic sheet. Okay, let's start the process of putting the color on top of the silhouette. Let me go turn off my lights. Like in the previous lesson, we're just going to pull back the color and we're just going to roll it on. Just like what we did before, we're just gonna repeat the process. Peel back the adhesive and roll it, roll it onto the holographic. And here's a first look of what the card looks like with the white silhouette. The next step here is to peel this off and then place the common card on top of it. Remember to take your time and align all the corners with corners when placing it. Now that the cardstock is aligned with the card, proceed with cutting to size. This will conclude my card making series. In the next video, I will show you how to put these custom cards into a graded case with a custom label. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.